Hello and welcome to the level one 40 SOAR demo. Today we're going to be talking about what is a SOAR tool, why 40 SOAR, and we're going to be going through a few examples of use cases to show you how 40 SOAR can be your unified incident response management product, help you with alert triage automation, help you with SOC optimization and SOC collaboration. So why a SOAR tool? Um, technologies are rapidly growing in efforts to adapt to the threat landscape. As technologies multiply, it becomes increasingly difficult to harmonize among them. 40 SOAR remediates some of the biggest challenges in cybersecurity. By allowing cybersecurity operations centers to create a customized automation framework that pulls together all of the organization's tools into a single centralized location, the result is an elimination of alert fatigue and context switching, which allows enterprises to not only adapt, but also optimize their cybersecurity processes. Okay, so let's now dive into the product. In a nutshell, Fortisor ingests actionable alerts and other useful data from security tools into its different modules. Once alerts are ingested into the system, out of the box and customized automation can be utilized to bring down the medium time to respond, keep analysts within standard operating procedures, and just create general efficiencies around the incident response process. Fortisor is a modular program, meaning that any alert data, any actionable data that you have in your environment that you can ingest via API into Fortisor, we can put in the program. That could be alerts, indicators, assets, users, or any kind of custom data that you want to bring into the product. It's really up to you. In the alert module, we have records. Records are a visual representation of the actionable alerts you are pushing into Fortisor. If we click on the records, we can see a more detailed view. This is the analyst workbench. This is where analysts will view alerts, make decisions, and see what the automation is doing to triage and remediate the alerts in your environment. So let's take a look at this email alert here. And I'm picking this because it's a more technology agnostic brand. Everybody has Exchange or Gmail or something that they can uh, utilize with our phishing remediation. Fortisor uses built-in API connectors with pre-built actions to ingest and create other API responses to different programs. That's the orchestration part of SOAR. As we go through this alert, we ingested via our Exchange connector, we can see that there's a reporter email body and the email body of the actual phishing email. As we go through, we can see a return path, which is different than the sender email address. And we've also done the alert triage and enrichment already out of the box using this pre-built playbook. Fortisor comes with over 100 pre-built playbooks that do larger investigations or can do something as simple as extract indicators from any blob of data and then hand them off to your threat intelligence programs to enrich them. So as an analyst, I can see not only do I have potential spoofing, there are some malicious indicators that came in through this email. From the execute menu, I'm going to do an investigation. Keep in mind, this investigation could have happened automatically. But for the purposes of this demonstration, I am going to trigger it in a manual fashion. So we can see the playbook confirms what I already knew, that there is a spoofing attempt going on as the sender email address is different than the sender return path. Notice the two R's. Also, something else I didn't see initially was there's some keywords that are on our blacklist, such as Bitcoins. But we could also enhance this playbook to add a whitelist, such as if the email says, unsubscribe, maybe we know that in that case, it's a marketing email. Another important thing the playbook does here is stop and ask the analyst, me, if I want to take action. Playbooks can always be stopped with a manual input step to query the analyst for information or allow them to pick a route the playbook should go down. In this case, it's gonna stop and ask me if I wanna approve the blocking of this malicious indicator. I say yes because I've seen spoofing, I've seen blacklisted keywords, and I've seen a mal multiple malicious indicators. 
So we've automated and done some response and some menial tasks. What larger investigations could we do? Well, I could run this playbook here, which goes and searches for where else have I seen this email? The playbooks post here in my workspace, and also this workspace can be used for analysts to chat and hold data. But in this case, the playbook comes back and says, I have seen this email in these other inboxes. Do you want me to delete them? I say yes. We move forward. And now I can safely say I've closed out this incident. So because of 40 source case management, I can go and close and add my closure nodes. Here I'm going to say we blocked the email on this program. And then we went ahead and deleted any other instances of that email across the network. Once I close out the alert, KPIs are created to show how long it took for us to work on it and how long the automation took to run. It took me about 13 minutes while talking to you guys to close out this alert. In a traditional scenario, answering or mitigating one phishing alert might cost 20, 30 minutes of precious time per alert. In 13 minutes, we have A, closed out the and one alert, and B, found and deleted the email across the network. And this is inherently where the value prop is with a SOAR tool. We create efficiencies and let you remediate much quicker. So let's take a look at another situation. In this case, it's a suspicious login attempt. When I go to the alert, we can see a playbook is already run on this alert because it was triggered automatically. We can see that while there was a suspicious login attempt and the IP address is external, the source IP is found to be safe by our threat intelligence services. Let's take a quick look at how this is found. 40 Store has built-in playbooks that will inspect indicators as they are generated and found and will reach out to your threat intelligence platforms to gather that and garner that reputation. We can go through multiple reputation services at once, as you can see in this playbook. So if we look at this built-in playbook, we can go out to six different services, get different information for enrichment, compile it in this decision step, and then change the indicator value or indicator reputation uh, to malicious, suspicious, whatever you want to set it to based on the results you're getting. If you want to, you could add different indicator services or, excuse me, threat intelligence services to get a reputation. For example, we can drag out FortiGuard and use that technology to compile, an informa and compile information in tandem with other threat intelligence services. So as I go to the playbook editor, I can go to the step where we make that decision. Here we've made a decision whether it's an external or internal IP address, and we base that off a built-in utility that looks at the CIDR range. And then we go out and get a reputation. And then we make the decision based on the reputation we have. So I'm going to drag out a new node, and I'm going to update the record, and in our case, close it. I select the proper variables, and proper input information, I point it at the right variable, I give it, I change the status, to close false positive, I change the severity to low, and since this is a repeatable step, I will just update my closure nodes. External but safe IP address based on standard operating procedures. This is safe. Closing alert. And that's how easy it is to modify an existing playbook and by the same principle, build your own playbook. So if I go back to the alert now, it's closed out with minimal severity 
and my closure nodes. And by the way, it took me 34 seconds to resolve this. And this is a repeatable process that we can close out false positives every time. Now, times this by 100 or 1,000 alerts a day, that might take 10 to 20 minutes to close manually. Now you're really seeing some efficiencies being created by Fortisor. So today we found a true positive and a false positive and showed you how Fortisor can help decrease in a major way the time to respond to true positives and false positives while saving your company time, keeping your company safer, and giving your analysts a bit of a break. So stay tuned for more information on 40 SOAR key functions, features, and benefits. Cheers, guys.